Chuck Dixon went viral the other day posting uh, what was a meme, or reposting it, I should say. I know he didn't create it. Uh, and, of course, getting the entire woke mob just flipped out about him. Uh, it went so viral, it got community notes and everything about DC Comics' latest just, like, gay invasion, which is all that's happening across the line-wide deal. We've been reporting on it for a long time, as have a lot of other people on the internet, like your boy Zach, Thinking Critical. Uh, it's gone out of control. Nobody wants to read these books because, like, nobody wants a gay Superman or a gay Green Lantern or a gay Robin or uh, a transgender gorilla in some Smallville story. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, and, of course, they just keep pushing further and further and further with this stuff. And the sales keep going down and down and down and down. And then they go, oh, it's, it's, it's you know, the comic market's just changing and pretending like there's not a problem. Well, Chuck Dixon used to write beautiful stuff uh, for DC Comics back in the day before he was blacklisted. He, of course, made Batman awesome uh, in the late 80s and early 90s. He created Birds of Prey, which, of course, his version was the best version of that. He made Nightwing and Robin uh, their own series great and, and really fleshed out those characters to ways they were never done before. And, of course, everything he's done has just been torpedoed and spiraled by these DC Comics weirdos at this point. And so, of course, he found this meme, actually thought it was real. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you'll see why in just a second. It's pretty funny. But he had even got Tom Taylor responding. So let's get into the news. My name's John Delarose. I would appreciate a subscribe to the channel. So hit that. Hit the like button. And of course, uh, I would appreciate you getting on our subscribe star. If you like Chuck Dixon's work and things like that, we are trying to make comics like in that vein where, you know, things used to be fun. And of course, we rely on you for your support to do so. This subscribe star is the future. It's Neo Patronage. You patronize the arts, and of course, we provide uh, what we can. Right now, I am, of course, using all of the funds in order to just pay for artists, get things going. And uh, we want to do monthly comics and really just knock DC out of the park. The more people on here, the better we can do and the faster we can make our work. Really appreciate you for being there. That link's in the description below. Thank you for supporting my friends. So here it is, uh, <laughs> the gay bar. I, I set up uh, in my article this morning on Phantom Pulse, as I am the editor-in-chief here, and I report on the comics beat usually. I show all the weird gay stuff happening in DC Comics. And then I talk about Chuck Dixon's uh, comment here. And this is what he said. Like I said, it went viral. Thousands of people were retweeting this. And here it is. Who wants this? And so here's the, <laughs> here's the dialogue in here. So I'm bi. How about you? I'm, mm, I guess I've only ever dated women, but I mean, look at me. Seriously, look at me. I'm gorgeous. I'm an absolute snack. I've got to be at least a little queer. So he posted this and who wants this? Now, when I first saw this, I thought, you know, Chuck just saw this and was commenting on DC Comics. I didn't know he thought it was actually a real panel. But you know what? With, with what we saw above, you wouldn't know the difference between this and a real panel. This is what they've been writing quite a bit lately, and it's absolutely disgusting. Nobody wants to read it, and that's the whole point. Nobody does want to read those, and they haven't been selling very well at all. So, of course, the woke mob went completely outraged. It went so crazy, Chuck Dixon actually deleted the tweet. Never delete your tweet, Chuck. Never do that. But here it is. Uh, Tom Taylor actually responded, and, and to his credit, he actually was pretty nice about things here. Hey, Chuck, that's not the dialogue. Someone photoshopped it for the usual outrage nonsense. Yeah, it's not nonsense, Tom Taylor, though, is the problem here. It is very real. This is so close to what DC is doing, so close to what you've done with Superman, that like we can't tell the difference at this point. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. There's a new Green Lantern panel where it's like, uh, you know, it's got a, a naked dude kind of sitting there, and it's got some internal dialogue where it says, so I let him pluck me which is obviously like, you know, uh, a stand-in for the F word, right? Which they can't put in the DC comic, but that's what uh, Tim Sheridan's thinking in his little wish fulfillment there. So here's the actual dialogue. Uh, it, it doesn't have anything to do with uh, with gay sex, at least in this instance, but Nightwing does look like he's looking at Jonathan Kent's uh, rear end there. But he does, uh, he does actually say nice things here rather than going at Chuck. He says, I want to say thank you for all you and Scott McDonald did on Nightwing, which is good because Tom Taylor's writing Nightwing right now. And of course, uh, it couldn't exist without all the groundwork that Chuck Dixon laid. And no matter uh, this, though, Tom Taylor, like all of his fans commented, Chuck Dixon's a homophobic in his comments, uh, just making things uh, worse on there. And Tom Taylor didn't uh, reply to any of those and say, hey, knock it off. I respect the legend. Of course not. But he was nice in this at the very least. So Chuck actually talked to me 
this morning uh, about this controversy, and he says, uh, I think we all thought uh, that fake was real. Why wouldn't we, given DC's recent output, I'd like to hire the guy who lettered the fake. Great job. <laughs> it is pretty good lettering on this uh, this one here. It does look like uh, real lettering. So interesting stuff right here. Of course, this generated so much outrage. It's really funny. And it, and you know what? The problem is this is what DC is actually doing. So it's like you guys uh, knock it off and make superheroes heroic again is what I say. Like I said, we're trying to do so. Please subscribe to our subscribe star and join our movement. I'd love to produce more great superhero uh, tales like Flying Sparks, which is a wonderful story. If you like Chuck Dixon, you're absolutely going to love that one. And uh, we've got a lot more stories to come. I appreciate you guys for being there. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.